So how did you guys meet? I met Bobby in British Columbia, somewhere. I think in the island, Vancouver yeah, Island. Nanaimo or Nanaimo? Nanaimo? Or? We always get the name it's like wrong. like the chocolate bar? The Someone will bar. DM me on how I said that name wrong after this interview comes out. But, uh, yeah, we met there like, oh, where's your band from? Oh, we're from Peterborough. We were like, oh shit, we're from Toronto. Like, oh, but we're 4,000 kilometers away from home and we've never heard of each other. So yeah, kind of bonded. Cool. Yeah. Made a good friendship there. And awesome. then toured and played some shows together. We, they were following our tour. Yeah. We were going through like Hurricane Sandy on the way home. We were, like, we were behind it watching them just get shit on. Yeah, we were getting time. crushed yeah. on the road. So bad. Bro. We were like, I can't believe those guys are still, like, their van is driving. Yeah, and we were, we the were going to die. moving down the highway somehow. Yeah, it was just us going like, oh, and them going like, oh, like, oh, yeah, oh, pretty much. So. And then, yeah, we just kept touch, and uh, I have a different band called Decatur uh, that I tour with other than KM, and uh, that was the band that I was on tour with when we met his band, Mokomakai, and uh, I started needing a guitar player for my band for touring, because I do lots of touring and like to play all the time, you know, and it's really hard to find, like, actual guys that want to do stuff for real, you know? So, um, yeah, I gave Bobby a call to see if he'd be interested in the gig, and lo and behold, we were on tour a month later. Anybody else got stories about how this came together? How it came together? Anthony and me met because he was friends with my little brother who was the original singer of this band in 2006 right. before that's we right. were even KM. That's true. And, and that's how we you, met. And he told you that I played guitar. Correct. Times. Yeah. But you were there like, was already a guitar spot. Him. Like, yeah, can't we can't use, use the guy. He needs to be bass. <laughs> he said, oh, I do bass. But actually, fun little fact, Anthony's better than every guitar player KM's ever had. <laughs> I, told him, I told him I'm totally a fucking bass player. Went out that night, borrowed a bass. I was well, like, yeah, let me showed up, lay this down. Was in KM the next day. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. And me and Tyler took, it took six like months of me kind of like phone calls every phone, day yeah. and me telling him, don't, why are you bothering Stop me? Stop calling, calling my phone. Calling my phone. <laughs> and I decided to just keep calling and submit him into coming to play music. And it worked. It was a good That's time. Great. Yeah, pretty good. And we've all been friends since, like I guess a long time for these guys and it's since the day we met. So it's funny that we met there because I'm actually from Montreal. We're, and I'm playing in a band from Toronto, and he's actually from the East Coast, and he's playing, so none of us are really in the right place, no which is kind of cool, right? That's what this whole Caravan industry is about. <laughs> hey, Johnny. Go to our Facebook page. Facebook? KM Metal. KM Metal. Tunes are on SoundCloud. SoundCloud Tunes. Tunes are on SoundCloud. iTunes, too, if you want. We don't get any of it, so purchase away. Give KM Metal on YouTube. Yeah. Somebody else. Yeah. You know, or you, you can hit, hit us up personally, hit me up personally on Facebook. Hit Beard up on Facebook personally. We have all. Don't our hit us up for music because we do not have CDs even for ourselves. So. <laughs> all right. Thanks for doing this. Yep. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Cheers, Cheers brother. Cheers. Cheers.